Gerard's downtown opened quietly in early 1999, but in New Orleans, the word gets out fast when it comes to good restaurants. One of the lead items at Gerard's is the pastry of Lisa Anderson. It is very often straight ahead, no frills work that is refreshing these days. Here is her cherry strudel. You're gonna combine your almond paste, your sugar, and your almonds in a food processor. This begins the almond cream, which is basically a pastry cream. And you want to process them until they're pulverized. I mean, you just want a nice, fine, sandy consistency. Then the processed mixture is combined with softened butter in an electric mixer with the paddle attachment, and eggs and flour are added. This starts to come together, add your eggs. Add in your flour. And then lastly, add your almond extract, or what we use here is a bitter almond essence, which is a little stronger. Actually, this almond essence is a lot stronger. Assembly of the strudel starts with phyllo dough. Going to butter each sheet of phyllo with clarified butter. This to work on the edges first and then move inward. Both sheets are buttered and another layer goes on. The second layer is also buttered. Sprinkle this second layer with sugar and some lightly toasted almonds. Two more layers are added, one with the almond sugar combination and one with the almond cream. Now, the trick to not ripping the phyllo when you're pressing the almond cream is to wet your hands. <laughs> When you get it pretty much dispersed, then you could smooth it gently with a uh, offset spatula. You want to sprinkle your plumped cherries over the almond cream. These are dried cherries that were rehydrated by bringing apple juice to a boil, pouring over the cherries and letting stand for an hour. Next, you're going to move your second stack of phyllo, place it over your cherries. And with the short side towards you, you're going to roll it in a jelly roll fashion. If you have a piece of parchment or a towel underneath, that kind of helps you to get started. The strudel is painted with melted butter. 
place in a 350-degree oven and bake for 30 to 45 minutes until evenly golden brown. The plate is garnished with creme anglaise and cherry syrup. Thank you.